a publicly traded company and its valuation absolutely skyrocketed. The stock went from $68 to opening up at $146. It was insane. As a former Airbnb employee and a shareholder, in this video, I wanna share my experience going through this exciting opportunity to see my former employer become public. So if you're interested, definitely stay tuned. Back in 2015, I interned at Airbnb as a software engineer. And then most recently, I spent almost four years at Airbnb as a software engineer, chief of staff and product manager. I saw the company going through multiple different phases from joining a team of only about 200 engineers, then seeing it grow to over 2000 engineers, and then seeing the company through the hyper growth, through the super hard pandemic experience where the company had to lay off 25% of its workforce. It's been a wild, wild ride. And to take a step back, this is how tech companies usually work and this is how they give employees compensation. The reason why everyone wants to join a hot growing startup is because if you join early and the company is going through the hyper growth stages then you have potentially the opportunity to become a millionaire because when you join a tech company you're always given stock equity in the company so when i joined airbnb full-time like anyone else i became a little owner of airbnb and this is why it's so appealing to join a tech company because besides getting just salary you're also getting shares in the company which then potentially might materialize into real money and there was always a running joke internally that Airbnb's IPO is always two years away uh, you know when I joined back in 2016 um, everyone was talking about oh, okay maybe like two years from now 2018 we're gonna go public and then 2018 came around the corner and it was kind of always like a year or two away um, so to me the news of the IPO uh, were exciting but weren't like extremely exhilarating because I'm you know, I'm not gonna believe it until it actually happens. Announced back in 20, at the beginning of 2020, I was excited, but I wasn't getting too attached. Then, you know, the pandemic happened and the pandemic was absolutely devastating. Airbnb lost 80% of its business. It was terrible. The layoffs uh, happened. Um, we lost like a ton of business. Uh, travel stopped internationally, travel stopped everywhere. But then, you know, Airbnb very quickly recovered, much quicker than I think anyone expected. Within like a couple of months, the company brought back a ton of revenue and the talks of the IPO um, were reinstated, which was super exciting for everyone. And then Airbnb finally filed the S1 and then the big day was coming closer and closer. So as employees, you know, you have those stock units and throughout your time at the company, there is usually a vesting period for how much stock you would actually get. So you initially get a stock grant, grant when you join and then every year you get a little more stock at the end of the year and then when you get promoted you get even more um, stock options. So by the time you know you leave the company if you decide to leave you have a certain amount of shares that you vested and a certain amount of shares that you unvested so that you're never gonna see materialize. So now, when I was leaving Airbnb I vested a decent amount of shares and that's why as a former employee um, actual day of the IPO was a very exciting day and I want to share a little more about that. So before the actual day of the IPO, I decided that I'm going to wake up at 5 a.m. my time a couple of hours before the trade in the stock market will open up because, hey, you know, this is kind of a, a maybe one in a lifetime opportunity to have your current or previous employer become a publicly trading company. I should like live the experience to the fullest. Um, and right before Airbnb went public on December 9th, DoorDash went public. And DoorDash's IPO went, like, it was crazy. The company, I think, went from 160 listed price to like 190 in just an hour. Actually, let me double check. Oh, 102, holy shit. Okay, um, yeah, so basically DoorDash's IPO was completely crazy. So DoorDash listed its stock price at $102 a unit, a pop. And the within an hour, the stock rose to $190 a pop. And that's why there was a lot of buzz about Airbnb, which was going public the next day. We were kind of wondering, well, heck, like if this happened with DoorDash, like maybe we should expect the same. Maybe Airbnb stock is gonna skyrocket as well. And to me, as a former employee, 
you know, the excitement became more and more real, right? Like a day before the IPO, no, actually two days before the IPO, I realized that I had um, about twice as many shares as I thought I had, and that was kind of a surprise. And so, yeah, I decided to live the experience to the fullest. I woke up at 5 a.m., the Slack channel of Airbnb alumni was just like buzzing. Everyone was just trying to figure out what the stock is going to be. And on the selling point, um, there is usually a lockup period when the company goes public. And this lockup period historically for other tech companies is six months. So what that means is that um, for six months after the company becomes public, you as a former employee, as a current employee, cannot sell any shares. However, Airbnb, being an amazing company that Airbnb is, has decided to put a special rule that employees are gonna be allowed to sell 15% of the stock that they have within the first seven days. I have decided to sell the 15% of the stock that I had because one, as soon as the company becomes public, if you are a restricted stock unit holder, you're actually taxed on everything you own even though you cannot actually liquidate the shares. So the, the reasoning for selling the 15% is to at least cover the taxes that we're gonna own to the IRS. And then the other reason is, I think it's all about diversification. Um, you know, I have like a pretty big chunk of my net worth in Airbnb. And I think, you know, I'm gonna continue holding a certain portion of Airbnb for sure, because I do strongly believe in the company and I do believe that it has potential to become much bigger than what it is right now. And, and what was really cool about the ceremony is that Airbnb did this whole campaign where the hosts, the Airbnb hosts, uh, rang the bell for Airbnb to become a publicly traded company. So it was this whole like sweet video about Airbnb hosts all over the world, bringing Airbnb to become public. And um, I mean, yeah, it was crazy to see the three founders giving the speech as well. They were on an extremely crazy journey. You know, 12 years um, started with like renting air mattresses in their apartment to try to make rent for themselves. And the company wasn't going anywhere. They were selling cereal boxes to be able to cover their costs. It was like a very crazy inspiring journey. And if you're not familiar with the story, you totally should check it out. So, you know, then afterwards, we had to wait a few hours uh, for the stock to actually become av available to be publicly traded. And so from the bell ringing ceremony, which my time was like about 8.30 in the morning, up until like 12, I was just on the Slack with Airbnb alumni, with the current Airbnb employees. No one knew what the stock's gonna be priced at. And the price actually kept climbing because CNBC and Bloomberg, they could predict the opening price based on the demand uh, of people wanting to buy the shares. And so we just kept seeing this price climbing and climbing up. So, you know, the company listed at $68, but then like two hours after the bell ring ceremony, it was like predicted to be at 110. And we were like, holy shit, like, wow, no one has expected that. And then it was 120, 130, 140, like 145. And then there was this hilarious video of uh, Brian Chesky's reaction to the current predicted stock price at the opening. Um, the CNBC reporter, basically told him like, hey, you know, what are your thoughts on the numbers? Like your company is about to open up at $145 a share. And um, yeah, I think he was just like in complete shock. Um, that is, that's a, I, you know, when we, in April, you could just tell how shocked he was. And then finally the stock started trading and it opened up at one, $146. That is, let's see, 146 divided by 68. Oh my God, I cannot count. Okay, I'm an idiot. That's like, it's 100% more than the company has listed at. Like insane. But considering the price has skyrocketed, it was freaking insane. 
we were like, okay, when do we sell? I, I kind of sold at a spread. Uh, I sold half of 50, the 15% at a spread between $146 and $162 a pop. So actually in the trading app that we have, uh, we were able to put like limit orders. So we were able to put like, okay, I'm selling this amount of shares at this price, or I'm selling this amount of shares only if it hits like $160. So I was able to sell at a spread. And then I was like, okay, well, I don't know what's gonna happen to the stock later. Maybe it's gonna skyrocket so i decided to hold off on the other half of the 15 percent because who knows maybe it's gonna go to 200 dollars and i don't want to miss out on that and basically hold and wait after that super exciting day it was like insane as i said uh the stock kind of started trickling down and dropping um so after the ipo towards the end of the week the stock dropped to i think yeah the stock basically dropped to like 130 um and so i was like damn it i should have sold during the first day what an idiot i am um but then i was like okay well the reality is that it's still almost twice uh the listed amount it's still almost twice the 68 dollars so basically bringing that perspective back i was like okay well it's okay that i didn't sell everything at 160 because it's still much better than it could have been um but basically yeah there's gonna be more opportunities to sell if i decide to sell but TLDR, um, the IPO day was extremely exciting. Airbnb is a rocket ship. Um, so I'm definitely gonna hold a certain percentage of my net worth in Airbnb because I do believe in the mission and in the company and it, it is gonna become much, much bigger than it is right now. But I have to say this, I'm not an investor. Do take my any of my advice. Actually, do not take it as advice at all. This is just my personal opinion, my personal experiences. I'm not an accredited investor, so definitely do not like um, religiously follow what I said. Um, but yeah, TLDR, you know, Airbnb is going to do great. Um, the stock hopefully is going to hold up. The IPO went extremely, extremely well. I'm super excited and I'm extremely grateful to have been a part of this rocket ship of a company of this journey uh, for over four years in total. It's been extremely exciting and I'm, and I'm so grateful. Uh, not just for the money honestly like money is great but as I said I wasn't really putting like a lot of attachment to it I'm just grateful for the community for all the learnings that I've had there for the incredible incredible network that I made while in the company for the amazing friends that I've met for you know incredibly smart like some of the smartest people I've met were Airbnb employees and now the people who decided to leave are all doing incredible things so I'm extremely grateful for that opportunity most and foremost um and yeah i think this is the end of my video sorry for the rants guys um if you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a like i hope you have a wonderful day as always and